I remember what you were telling us about. I keep remembering that chat on MMTC that we were having last week, right? And you were yeah. saying, be careful, be careful. This is low flow. Think about the fundamentals. I'm not sure what's triggered it, but look at all of these stocks today. STC, State Trading Corporation, 10%, MMTC, Hudco, of course, there's an OFS. I don't know if that kind of got people a little worried, but this is uh, quite something, as you were pointing out. You know, Sirbi, uh, we need to alert our viewers, you know, to be cautious at times. And that's precisely what we have done. It's our duty to do that. Stock prices, well, they could move up or down. But we need to alert viewers with regard to the low float as well. So just look at what's happened today. Take a look at a few stocks. KIOCL, ITI and MMTC. Now, these stocks in the last six months, they're up by more than 100%. They're more than doubled. But in today's trading session, if you look at the intraday chart of a couple of these, you know, KIOCL, uh, ITI, they are down close to 15% from the day's high itself. You know, a big downtick that we've seen out there. What's common in some of these names, you have STC as well as well, that's uh, come off. Now, we are at CNBC TV 18 around a couple of weeks ago, I think two and a half weeks, we put out this uh, piece on ERT, that's Editor's Roundtable, that some of these stocks, they're floating like butterflies, but be careful because they can sting like a bee as well. And today, these stocks are getting stung. Take a look at KIOCL. Look at the free float. It's less than a percent out there. Last year, EBITDA loss and net loss as well. So the reason that the stock actually has moved up is because the float is so limited. Next up, ITI. The government of India owns close to 90%. And then another government-backed fund, that's a special national investment fund, has 7.6%. So the effectively, the free float in the market is around 2%. Last year, EBITDA loss as well as a net loss. So you know, that's another stock. MMPC. You know, that stock was going one way as well on all sorts of rumors. 93% is held by LIC as well as the government of India. And last year, they delivered an EBITDA loss. They delivered a profit number only because of other income. Otherwise, that as well would be a net loss. So it seems the fundamentals are catching up out here because low float was something that was driving these stocks up. And finally, a couple of banking names that we had highlighted, you know, two and a half weeks or so ago on the same piece. Punjab and Sindh Bank as well as Yuko Bank. Now, just take a look at the float in the market. It's around 2 to around 4%. And some of these stocks were trading at two, three times price to book. And the last one month chart, you know, tells you the picture. From the highs, these stocks have corrected a goodish bit. You know, from the top, actually, the recent top, they are down close to 10 12% odd. So clearly, you know, this free float game seems to be catching up finally. We were trying to reason with a lot of investors, a lot of traders, but they were saying the stock will go up one way. You need to keep an eye out on fundamentals. And now the only reason that the stock has been moving up is that, in fact, there was very, very limited, uh, you know, stock, uh, float in the market. So be careful, investors. We're just here to caution you and alert you. Some of these fundamentals were way behind, but the stock prices were running ahead. So that's just what we want to put on the table, because these stocks have come off the top, particularly today. How do you position yourself, though?